Gal? Just being cautious, Professor. That's part of our job. So many tests, though. So many injections. I feel like a pincushion. That's modern medicine. Would you like us to be any other than thorough, sir? Well, I feel fine. What more do you want? To be absolutely certain that there is nothing wrong with you. Oh, he's just been complaining all day. Well, you don't know how much work I have ahead. or the deadlines I have to meet. Well, that's fine, Professor, but you know what we do to patients who complain too much? We never let them out. I knew it. I've been kidnapped. That's right, and while we're writing the ransom note, uh, you wanted an x-ray. Oh, well, with that note, I'll take him straight down to the basement. Good. Here we go. I'll be the second those pictures come in, I want to see him. Let me know. Right, Doctor. I'll be in the cafeteria in five minutes, and then I'll be upstairs in ten. I thought you were going to take it easy today. That would be a great idea, Jesse. Just great. Yes, Marty, I'm still here. No, I don't want you to go to... All right, fine. Mercy, tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, cardiac wing. No one knows about this, right? Good, thank you. No, I can't thank you enough for the extra trouble. Great, thanks. Oh, Vic. Um, yes, sir. Steve just called down. He's changed the OR schedule for tomorrow because Dr. Ron is not operating, so Mrs. Springfield's bad bypass will be at 10 o'clock instead of 2. Yes, I'm sorry. That's impossible. I can't do it. Well, those are Steve's orders. We'll get him on the phone, please. I'm afraid you don't have any choice. Bobby, get Steve on the phone. I mean now, stat. Go ahead. He's in his office. Sorry, Jesse, but I got a schedule going this week. Next thing I know, someone has turned around. Dr. Hardy, please. Oh, I understand. Uh, speaking of schedules, I think I'd better get back on my own schedule. Thanks a lot. Sure. You just had tea. It's all right. It was terrific. What are we? Steve's in a meeting. Interrupt him. He asked not to be disturbed. Get Cunningham. He told me that he had a, a light schedule this week. Impossible. Dr. Cunningham is in surgery tomorrow at 9 for at least a two-hour procedure, and then he has another one scheduled after that. Nearly time for a cup of coffee. Well, this is ridiculous. Every time this week I have a schedule, someone changes the schedule. Oh, it sounds like a complaint. It is, Dan. I want 48 hours notification next time, all right? That's no problem. You stick to your schedule tomorrow. I'll call Dr. Baker to come in. Thank you. I'd appreciate it. Consider it done. What was that all about? I've never seen him so upset. Schedule changes are routine around here. Well, the pressures build up sometimes. It's understandable. Not Rick. You have a point there, Jeff. Well, one phone call to Dr. Baker and it's all forgotten. I'm so afraid I've missed you. No, I was just on my way out. Yeah? What are you doing? Sneaking out? You got an early date? No, I don't have an early day. It happens to be a weekday. Most weekdays, I do go to the hospital. Easy. When did I have to start checking out with you, however? Hey, relax. It was just a little joke there. Oh, I'm late. I'll see you this evening. Uh, what about a ride? I could sure use the company. Uh, no. Uh... No? Why not? We could, you know, talk. Uh, Leslie, I have to stop by the university on the way to the oh, hospital. Oh, not a problem. I have time. I'll go with you. No, maybe once, just once, you can rely on yourself to do something. Maybe you can go in your own car instead of in mine. You know what? If you need a ride to the hospital, I'll be happy to take you, okay? Oh, you're so sweet. I didn't need a ride. I just wanted some time with Rick. No, I think his problem is I think he needs a vacation from a vacation. I think maybe I need a vacation from him. I thought you said you weren't seeing enough of him. I'm not. But what I see, I sure don't like. Something is wrong in here. I, I don't know. Maybe if I can get away by myself, maybe I can figure out what it is. You think maybe you're going to take a little vacation or something? You know, maybe I should if I could manage it. With who? With me. If I did that, would you be able to hold down the fort here? Oh, yeah, 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 easy. I'll take care of everything. You go work on your tan somewhere, all right? Go out and have a good time. And uh, I think you should go. I think you do need a little vacation. And you know what else? I'll bet yeah. you anything, by the time you come back, everything will be straightened out with me. I hope. I better go. Thank you, Doctor. It was my pleasure, Doctor. Come on, I'll walk you out. What are you going to do today? 
Oh, I guess the mayor's running. I stopped by Kelly, see what's happening over there. Let's be going around. It's a 24 hour blue. I wouldn't go. Want some company? Not particularly. Where? Where's this from? I just came back from Mercy. Monica did a series of tests on me. It might be my heart, but we don't have the results back yet. Um. Well, how's Leslie taking it? I haven't told her. That's why I had it done at Mercy. Please, that's the way I don't want to keep it. I don't want anyone to know. Rick, maybe it's just stress. You've been working awfully hard. Rose, I just came back from a long vacation. Well, sometimes those are tougher on you than what you were getting away from. I don't know how I've been acting. I just can't seem to control myself. All I do is yell at Leslie and the kids. That's well, all. I'm sure they understand. Well, I sure haven't bothered to explain to them what it is. I don't know why they should. Don't you think you ought to tell Leslie? I can't. I don't want to worry her. Not, not to. Oh, Rick. I wish there was something I could do, but listen, even if it is your heart, couldn't you have caught it in time to avoid any serious complications? Well, I don't even know that yet. And so, Rick, just know I'll do anything I can for you. It'll be all right, you see. Ich denke, Leslie und Rick haben ein paar Probleme. Und warum denkst du das? Das ist offensichtlich. Könntest du ein bisschen deutlicher werden? Oh, na schön. Du weißt doch, dass Rick im Urlaub war. Ja, und? Allein. Oh. Ja. Tja, das könnte wirklich ernst sein. Ja, und seit er wieder bei uns ist, läuft es noch schlechter. Und jetzt denkt Leslie auf einmal daran, in den Urlaub zu fahren. Auch allein. War das jetzt alles? Sie reden so gut wie gar nicht miteinander. Und wenn, dann ist es bloß laut und genervt. Weißt du, Blackie, es gibt immer wieder solche Momente zwischen Paaren. Das ist normal. Ja, aber um das Bild abzurunden, heute saßen Rose und Rick Händchen halten bei Kellys. Was meinst du, bedeutet das? Das bedeutet wahrscheinlich gar nichts. Das sehe ich etwas anders. Dann versuch es auch mal von einer anderen Seite zu sehen. Tiffany, ich tue kaum was anderes in letzter Zeit. Ach, Blackie, so kommen wir nicht weiter. Wenn Rick und Rose wirklich eine Affäre hätten, würden sie es dann vielleicht in aller Öffentlichkeit zeigen? Und noch dazu, wenn das ganze Restaurant voll ist? Ich weiß nicht, vielleicht wollten sie gesehen werden. Ja, ich verstehe das auch nicht so ganz, aber wenn es dich so beunruhigt, dann musst du wohl Rick mit der Frage konfrontieren. Was hast du zu verlieren? Doch, mein Verstand vielleicht? <lacht> aber du hast recht, es ist unheimlich wichtig. Ich denke schon, Rick muss das verstehen und was Leslie angeht. Sie kann allein auf sich aufpassen, glaub mir. Ich hoffe es. Oh, Blackie. Solche Dinge haben die Angewohnheit, sich meistens ganz von allein zu regeln. Und du solltest einfach den Leuten, denen du liebst, ein bisschen mehr vertrauen. Komm jetzt. Danke. Every marriage has bad moments. I don't know any two people in the world who can live together without some kind of friction once in a while. You know, maybe I'm just not cut out for married life. Brian, it's like anything else in this world. It just, it takes work. Just keep talking. As long as you keep the lines of communication open, the marriage is going to be all right. So when one partner shuts himself off, hey, you might as well give up because it's all over. Take it home, who knows? Well, you and Rick seem to have the perfect marriage. Oh, yeah, perfectly dreadful. What? <laughs> um, cheap joke. But we've got our problems, like everybody else. So I gather. Sounds to me you've been talking as much to yourself as you have been to me. Yeah. Well, I guess, you know, we, all of us need reminding every once in a while. Um, I gotta get back to work, so I'm gonna excuse myself and wish you good luck. Thanks. Also for the advice. Thanks. Wieso? Was hast du noch vor? Das Herrfeste. Und ich geh mal schnell rüber. Ich hab dich ausrufen lassen. Und aus welchem Grund? Uh, ich muss dich sprechen. 
Dann aber schnell, ich bin heute unter Zeitdruck. Gut, können wir uns da drüben hinsetzen? Ich sagte, meine Zeit ist knapp, ich muss wichtige Dinge erledigen, es eilt. Na dann, komm kurz hier rüber, okay? In Ordnung. Also, was gibt's? Blackie, ich warte. Ich habe dich heute bei Kellys gesehen. Ja, und? Mit Ross. Ich weiß außerdem, dass irgendwas zwischen dir und Leslie falsch läuft. Ich würde gerne erfahren, was los ist. Und dafür lässt du mich ausrufen? Ja, vielleicht kannst du es mir erklären. Und du meinst, du hast das Recht auf eine Erklärung? Die schulde ich weder dir noch sonst irgendjemanden, Blackie. Hör mal, ich versuche nur zu helfen. Immer nicht gefälligst und deine Sachen. Die Familie ist aber meine Sache. Es gibt Dinge, die sehr persönlich sind, über die man ganz sicher nicht diskutieren will. Also wenn du mich jetzt entschuldigen würdest, ich habe sehr Wichtiges zu erledigen. Ich fasse es nicht. Da bist du nicht der Einzige. Was ist bloß in Rick gefahren? Ich weiß nicht. Ich habe noch nie erlebt, dass er sich so benommen hat. Und du kannst mir glauben, es gefällt mir genauso wenig wie Also, dir. was können wir dagegen machen? Ich denke, wir müssen Leslie unterstützen. Sie wird uns jetzt dringend brauchen, wenn Rick sich weiterhin so verhält. Ich denke, das trifft sie nicht allein. 